Well, hello again, all my fluid art friends. I am doing another experiment, trying to translate um, acrylic pouring into resin pouring. Okay, I've seen Marley's Ma Marley Molly's artistry do this really neat thing with a colander. Okay, now I don't know if I got the right type of colander, but we will find out. Okay. Um, what she did was was she mixed up colors and then put did a dirt poured them onto a cup and then did a dirty pour in here and then tilted it so we're going to see if that works now i've got um seven cups here for the colors this one's going to be white now these are all um, mica powders I just got in from a sample pack. The sample pack is called Bright Synthetic Colors, okay, and the names of them are Synthetic Green, Synthetic Violet, Synthetic Blue, and I don't know why this one doesn't have Synthetic in it, it says Red Maryland, Synthetic Orange, and Synthetic Yellow. So after I get the... Uh, resin mixed in with each one I will show you what they look like as I'm pouring them into the cup whoops almost lost my stick okay come on this is why I keep stuff in this tray because I have a tendency to spill so but I was worried with the tray I would not be able to see what I was doing so, because it's full, so I'm going to stand up and hopefully I'm not blocking the camera. Sorry if I am. And I'm going to leave just a little bit of clear left to coat this as my base coat. Now, there's a difference. Um, base coat is the coat that you put down to help the rest of the colors move across the top of it okay and that's what this clear is going to do okay um, just needs a uh, just needs a very very thin um, coating and I'm going to let that cup empty out while I mix all these colors okay um let me see make sure they're all about even um yeah okay the first thing i'm doing i've already taken off the lid seat but the thing's covered i'm using my rust-oleum gloss white protective enamel it's oil based and you don't need much in here i've got probably an ounce so i'm not putting i i barely coated the stick but you do want to scrape off the stick because there's a lot of the pigment stuck to the stick with, as you're mixing it in, okay? Now, I was also smart. <laughs> I put all my powders in first and then put my resins on top of them, okay? Okay, there's my white. I don't know if I can keep... Yeah, that's, yeah, it's still on camera, okay. This is the synthetic green. Let me get up so I can get it close to the camera. It's got a luster to it, but it's a real bright color. That's what. I, that's why I wanted to use these for this. Now I do not know how many colors I've lost. Tr I, I forgot to count. Um, I forgot to see how many colors Molly usually does hers in. Okay, and she does hers in acrylics. So, it is a lot different with resin because you can't put into the resin what she does with her acrylics. And she uses a... I'm going to put a link to her channel below. And you can go look at hers if you want to try it in acrylic if you haven't seen her videos yet. Um, she puts a special pouring medium in I, I I don't know if it's in the white or if it's in all of them okay see that's how much I pay attention sometimes I think I got the gist of what she did so I'm just diving in you know me 
I'm like my girlfriend, Joe Patty. I'm fearless. Let's just do it. Let's just pour it out and see what happens, right? This is the Red Maryland. That one was the blue. This is the synthetic orange. I'm standing up so I can get it close to the camera. Okay, and this one, this last one is a synthetic yellow. I'm not sure how many layers of color I'm going to do in there. Let me move that before I spill it. Let me put the lid on. Plug your ears. I'm going to pound it. Okay, there's my stick. Um, let me move that over just to try to get some more of it out. I think that's about all I'm going to get. I think it's all out. Okay, put my cup over there with the stick against it. Okay, uh, first thing I want to do before I um, do anything else is I'm going to wipe that around. Because uh, when you pour, when you're doing a dirty pour with resin, you've got to be kind of, I can't find the opening. you got to be kind of quick about, you put it in the cup and then you pour it out because you don't want it. It'll muddy quicker in the cup than acrylics do, okay? I'm just cleaning off whatever I got on my hands in the way of color. But this alcohol rag, I use 91% alcohol. This alcohol rag is, it's, it's a lot tougher than baby wipes. And it doesn't leave any lint um, like uh, paper towels would. That's why I, I just go to my local thrift store. I'm sure you have a local thrift store somewhere. Or maybe you've got some t-shirts. Oh, I gotta I gotta heat this up just a little bit to get it more liquid. Now my rule of thumb is you turn on let me find the switch. You turn on your heat gun for five seconds pointing away from your piece because you want to blow out all the dust that collected up in there. That's my way of getting rid of the dust boogers and I'm just heating this up a little bit just to get it a little bit more liquid so it's easier that clocking you heard I have a cheap I don't even remember what it is but I have a cheap 12 by 12 tile that I lay on the table because my whole table is covered in black plastic to protect it from the resin and, and colors and stuff so I got that tile sitting there and it's got, um, it protects the uh, black plastic from the heat in the heat gun. Okay, let me do this a little bit. Okay, um, let me scrape that off, but I still want to wipe it off. And I got seven cups here. I got my two extras, but she knows what it's for and I'm going to put them over to the side. Okay, now basically I'm going to do a dirty pour in here. Now I'm going to do part of the white. Um, I have no idea. I, I know she shows it in one of her uh, videos how she puts the color in the cups. But here's the thing. It's not going to stay. So I'm just going to pour it down the side. But see, it's 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 going to go over to the other side a lot quicker. I think I'm going to end up getting two layers of color out of each cup. So I'm just putting in, now that was the green, the purple, the white was in first. There's about an ounce maybe, maybe a little bit more. I mixed up uh, six ounces. And I wanted to make sure I had enough resin for all seven colors plus some extra for the album. Okay, that's the Red Marilyn. I don't know why it's called Red Marilyn. I'm going to have to look it up on their website. All of these colors I got from a, from a website called Just Pigments. If you type that into Google search, you'll find them. 
and they've got very very reasonable prices and they've got sample packs okay but you can also order just a sample of one color and I think they got free shipping over over ten dollars um, now I'm not affiliated with them I stumbled upon them found them I was thinking of carrying their stuff but it's my apartment's too small for me to start doing something like that so okay now I'm gonna do the last of the green I'm gonna do the last of each color in a layer I'm not gonna spend I'm not gonna get all the color out of there but I'm getting the majority of it out okay now the last of the purple sorry I know you can't see it because of my hand I gotta start thinking of where of a different way to uh, do this so you can see exactly what I'm doing I'm just scraping out the color and pouring it into the into the big cup okay now the last of the blue don't need to get every last drop but you want to get the majority of it I have no idea and I am gonna put the last of the white on top okay because whatever I do know in acrylics and resins whatever you pour in first is what comes out last so ah, I got it all over my finger so that's what I'm trying to make sure I'm doing is the white's going to come out last. It's going to come out in the middle. There's the yellow. I know it looks like a mess in the cup, doesn't it? Ha! But I don't know if it's going to work with the effects that she gets in her in her acrylic pores. But you know what? What do I always say? We will find out together. Okay, I'm done with all those guys. Let me pour the last of this white on top. I don't have much, but let me just pour the last of this. Just want to get the all the white out. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to put my colander right in the middle. And here goes nothing she does a big ring around the uh, around it so we will see what it looks like doesn't look all that great in there but maybe the way it comes out will look good I don't know oh well, it's doing those little um oh I don't know what she calls those um it's doing those little lines coming from the middle but we're going to find out in a minute if it does her little star shape now she doesn't pick it all the way up she picks it up slowly and i'm trying to get the resin over to the holes a little bit so it'll all come out and I got a center like she does but she gets some neat action with the white around there I love the colors aren't really muddy muddy I like the way they they blended okay so first thing I want to do I'm gonna give it just a little bit of heat just to make it a little bit more liquid so it'll roll around okay there we go now I'm gonna start tilting and it sh I know she goes that way and she comes towards the back okay and now I'm gonna go this way I know she brings it back to the center every time so and I don't know if I want to pour off my um pour off my lines or not she does that I don't know if I want to do that or not I think they look pretty cool in the resin don't you I hope that everybody who is interested in doing this tries it in resin I swear it is so much fun recreating stuff 
in resin that you see in acrylics. Okay, I've lost the starburst effect that she gets. I had it a little bit, but not that much now. So now, I'm just trying to get it to the edge. I'm not going to pour off the uh, the lines. I'm going to leave the lines. I like that. I, the only piece I could find that was primed, and there's a difference between primed and base coat. Okay? Primed is when you put something on a sealer of some sort even if it's just flat um, white paint on your on your substrate which in this case is my record album okay um, your base coat is whatever you put down first for paint or resin okay okay come on back towards the middle I hope yeah well you can see part of it okay So I'm just going to do a little bit more tilting to get it to the edge because I do want it to go over the edge. I don't want any white showing. But I don't want to lose any of the design that's in the middle over the edge. I know this looks like a super tilt, but I'm trying to get it to go over the edge and not be white. Okay, come on. Over the edge. Over the edge, guys. Everybody jump. There we go. I talk to my resin a lot. Okay. All I really need to do is go around and touch up the edge on top a little bit. I could probably, yeah, I don't have much paint over there, and that's definitely muddy in the bowl. Um, I don't know if you can see what's, now you barely, that's definitely muddy on the bowl. Oh, here's another little tip for you. When you got this rag that's soaked in alcohol, Keep it as far away as you can, which is over here, basically, for me, from your heat gun or your torch. Because with that alcohol on there, it can catch on fire. Okay, I'm going to blow out bubbles, and I'm going to blow some of it to the edge, just, just a little bit. Just enough to go over the edge. I don't want to mess up my design, but I don't want any white showing either. So I'm just getting it enough air and heat on it just to get some of the color to go towards the edge. Ugh. See, I got too much white over there. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, oops. Let me give it a little bit of heat in the middle just to make sure I have no air bubbles. And there is another thing you can do to check. This is a very cheap, simple LED light I got at one of the hardware stores. I turn it on. I got it covered right here because I almost couldn't get the batteries changed because there was so much resin on it. So I got this covered in saran wrap. And I do this. Uh, yeah, you can... I don't know how much glare you're getting. And you do this to get a really, really good view to make sure you don't have any dust particles or hair. And I don't, I don't know what that is. No, that's just a Stration. Now, see, now I'm trying to use a word that I'm not sure how to pronounce. Um, it's just a little um, design in the paint is what it is. Okay. Um, I don't want to point this at the camera and blind you. I just have it hooked over here on um, my, my shelves that I got. Believe it or not, 
from this distance, my wall is less than three feet away, almost two feet away from the, from this edge, okay? And I got some shelves back there, and I got all my little tools I need. I got a clock with a thermometer, and I got a, a, a power strip for my two lights. I just wanted to get a little bit more... over the edge or try to and now I got one of them stuck ah I got one of the cups stuck underneath okay the last thing I need to do is I just need to go around the edges okay and then to also go underneath just to make sure I've gotten rid of all the drips and I have no resin left. So, there you go. With seven colors plus a little clear, it took um, it took only six ounces to do this 12-inch record album. So, I'm going to see what kind of a... I know it looks probably a little muddy, but it's got a design in it. And I've got a cup stuck to it underneath. Ah! I don't believe I just did that. Uh, I went to go reach over it and drag my thumb through it. Let me see if I can cover it back up. Oh. See? Accidents can happen, okay? I was trying to reach under there to unstick that cup that's stuck. One of my spray can lids is stuck to the bottom. Okay, well, I kind of fixed that accident a little bit. Got ended up with more white over here. I'm probably not going to be able to get rid of the white. So I probably, I don't know yet what I'm, I don't know if I'm going to take a marker and color it or just leave it white. I don't know yet. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Um, hit the little bell for notifications if you want to be notified of my next video. I love the resin right out of you guys. I'm serious. I love all of my subscribers, all of my future subscribers and new ones. And I love just all my viewers, period. I love your comments. I answer every comment, believe me. Any, any question, ask. I'll answer it to the best of my ability, okay? Um, and I'm gonna start something new I'm going to do a little short true color video um, at the end of this video so when I say bye it should go for 20 seconds to a true color video of the ones I did yesterday okay so if you want to see yesterday's piece dried and set up not not finished yet but dried and set up Stick around and you'll see that. And then t at the end of tomorrow's video, you'll see this one dried and set up. Okay? So anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.